it's a brick wall and it can be painted over, right? There's darkness. We got more color than they can handle. It's Pride Month, and so we're going to cover it right on up. The most recent incident of vandalism here in the Piedmont Triad involving Pride Month happened outside of a bar in Greensboro. Somebody defaced a mural depicting local entertainer Brenda the Drag Queen yesterday. This was at the Bearded Goat. The bar owner said that Brenda reached out to him last night after a man sent her a message claiming to be behind the vandalism. That person, the vandal, drew horns coming out of the person's head, a pentagram on her forehead, and the words, I eat kids and save the kids. That's hurtful on multiple levels because, you know, she's such a kind person um, and such a big inspiration to this community. Um, and to have someone just defame her like that was just very hateful. What I want people to remember and take from this is that this is so much more than one small minded person with uh, paint pen, right? This is a representation of what's going on in our country um, against drag entertainers, transgender people, non-binary people. And as we get comfortable, if we continue to hear about things like this and it becomes white noise and we get comfortable, we're going to become slowly comfortable with things that are worse and worse and worse and worse. We've seen it throughout the history of our country with different types of oppression and marginalization and the oppression of queer people and now drag entertainers specifically um, is no different, right? Where the violence will become more normalized and it's only going to get worse. Greensboro Police does have a report on this. Brenda, along with the artist behind the mural, spent the better part of the early evening hours painting over that vandalism.